Okay, well, I'm out running some errands here and I found this uh, interesting paint splatter on this wall that I thought might make for a good photograph and I've got my little uh, Kodak commercial view camera here, my on-the-go 8x10 with a Fujinon 250mm lens. So, just about all set up. I got my composition with my uh, viewing aid as you saw earlier. Um, I'm right near this kind of busy road so hopefully it doesn't pick up that much on the mic. So I've just got to do a few refinements here on the composition and dial it in. I'm thinking of a pretty uh, pretty extensive close-up on this. It will probably have some bellows extension that I'm going to have to account for. All right. Just a few more re quick refinements, a little, little front shift here. There we go. Maybe a front tilt to get that focus right dead in. All right. I'm going to stop it down now while I view the ground glass, checking my focus for my depth of field. All right. And now I'm going to come out and take a quick look here at, at what my f-stop setting is. Looks like f32 will do it, which is good because I don't want to stop down much past f32. This Fujinon 250 um, goes to f45, which of course if I go that far down I'll get diffraction and I want to try to avoid that. So I've got my... Let me get my cable release out here. <clears throat> so I've got my um, composition all set up. The way that I'm envisioning this is um, much higher contrast than what's, um, what's in the scene now. Luckily the sun is actually not on the, the shot itself here that I'm going to photograph. So, because I don't want hot spots on it. But I think that it'll hold up. The sun's right over there. Behind. There's a billboard right here that's sort of blocking it. So that's good. All right. I'm going to grab my meter down here. As some of you know, on my on-the-go kit, all I have, yeah, I don't have a spot meter with me. I don't always spot meter. Um, my on-the-go kit, I've just got an incident meter, which is fine if you understand how, to, how it functions. I'm going to, this is... Uh, FP4 125. I'm going to shoot it at ISO 100. And I'm just going to take a meter reading here. As I said, I'm envisioning this with more contrast. Um, so right now it looks like it's F32 at a fourth of a second. But I think I'm going to underexpose this two stops and then overprocess it to add a lot, of, a lot more contrast into it. The way that I'm envisioning this is just very high in contrast. Um, I think if I did a shot straight up with normal development and exposure, it wouldn't render it the way I'm envisioning it. It would be quite flat. So F32 at a fourth of a second. So I'm going to go to F32, and now I have to check for my bellows extension. And when I check for my bellows extension, I've just pre-measured out my hand, so I'm going to measure it out here. I use, I use my hand as the basis. It's a quick, quick in the field thing. All right, so it looks like I'm at, not out as far as I thought I would be. I'm maybe at about 10 inches out. So this is a 250 millimeter focal length lens, which is at about 10 inches. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably underexpose, like I said, I'm gonna underexpose this two stops, so F32 at, I'm sorry, let me re-meter again. I don't know if I, don't know if I had the meter set just right. I think I accidentally hit it. Okay, yeah, F32 at a fourth. I must have tapped the button when I was over here in the brighter light because it gave me, a, it, I looked back at my meter and it had a substantially different reading. Okay, so F32 at a fourth. And so if I'm going to underexpose that two stops, I'm looking at a fifteenth of a second, F32 at a fifteenth of a second. Now, I think that we're going to have about 
half a stop of um, about half a stop of fall off here half a stop of fall off with the bellows extension so I've got to account for that <clears throat> so in actuality um, two stops would be F32 at a 15th but since I've already got half a stop I'm losing I only really need to underexpose a stop and a half and then let the bellows extension make up for the other half stop so I'm going to shoot this at Um, actually, F32, I think, sorry, I got to do these calculations in my head. So two stops would be at a 15th, and so I'm going to actually shoot an F22 and a half at a 15th of a second, which is only a stop and a half under exposure from what the meter says, and then let the, the bellows extension make up for the other half stop to underexpose this scene, two stops. All right, so now I just have to get out my holder. I'm going to check the lens, make sure it's firing adequately. There we go. I'll get out the holder here. Take a shot. Okay, so I've got my holder all loaded up. Well, I'm sorry, my holder's not loaded up. I've got it in my protective light, light protective sheath. Just got to take that out of there. Okay. So I'm going to load it all in, and then we'll get this shot taken. Check everything here. Make sure I'm cocked. Shutter's cocked. Double check my settings, F22 and a half at a 15th. All right, and I'll pull the dark slide now. Make sure the lens isn't blocked. All right, we're ready to go. Make sure the light's good. All right, there we are. Hmm. I seem to have misplaced my tape or it's fallen off. I like to tape my, my holders so the dark slides don't accidentally slide out. Um, even though there's safety catches on it, sometimes I've found that they rotate out, off, rotate away from the um, dark slide so they don't hold the dark slide in. It's just a good measure. Uh, the tape is a good measure to avoid it coming out, the dark slide. I've lost a shot or two over the years like that. So we've got that all taken now, just a, just a quick shot on the go. Let me put my, my film holder back. So, you know, I, I like taking the 8x10 out. Um, this, this particular Kodak commercial, I don't really care if it gets beat up or uh, gets, gets damaged or stolen or anything. It's just an old camera. I actually care more probably about the lens than I do the camera. But, um, you know, just sometimes when you're out and about traveling, it's good to, good to have the camera with you if you see a shot like this. So, FP4 125, a stop and a half underexposed. Uh, giving another half stop under exposure accounting for the bellows extension that I've got uh, so that's two stops under exposure I'll probably give this n plus two development in uh, Kodak uh, d76 one-to-one -one rotary processing and hopefully this turns out well and I, I can pump the amount of contrast that I I envision in this shot so I'm gonna get packed up here I'm gonna head out uh, but thanks for watching this. Um, I know I don't always put out videos as often as I'd like, but hopefully you enjoyed this and you keep watching.